Let's dive in and see our Color Atmospheres action. It's truly amazing to me how a color adjustment can dramatically alter and enhance the overall feeling of an artwork. So in our modern world of Photoshop and digital artwork, we decided to honor the expressionists by coming up with an action bundle that focused on color and artistic effects that bend reality on the screen. The first step is to have one of your completed digital artworks loaded in Photoshop. Next, we head over to the Actions panel and toggle open the Color Atmospheres action. So in here, you'll see we have the first Run All Atmospheres action, which will apply all 20 color effects to your artwork, allowing you to toggle them on and off and compare them all in one shot. Now below that, we have the individual actions, if you have a favorite or if you know which one you feel that you're going to apply. So you may have already seen our first six uh, atmospheres in Artistry 2. However, these versions here have been completely updated to look even better than before. And we've added 14 brand new color atmospheres that look equally as impressive. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to use the Run All Atmospheres version so we can quickly preview a few of these effects right now. So I'll click on the Run All Atmospheres action and click play at the bottom of the actions panel. Now, one of the best things about this action is how quickly it runs. And as you can see, it is complete already. So I'm going to close the actions panel out of the way here. Okay. Now we have a brand new layer group in the layers palette here. And if your layer group is not collapsed and you're seeing a long list of multiple layers and groups, hold down the option and command keys on a Mac or the alt and control keys on a PC. And while holding those down, click on the layer group toggle arrow to collapse the groups to make things more tidy and viewable here in the layers palette. So now we can toggle the color atmospheres group open. And here there are 20 different color effects with their visibilities all turned off by default. To view the different atmospheres, simply toggle on the layer visibility of any of these groups. So let's go with the first one here. And you can see the dramatic effect already on this image. Now we can control this effect in a number of ways, the easiest being the layer opacity slider here, where you can reduce the effect by lowering the opacity of this entire group. Now these have all been designed to work in one click. However, I know there's more adventurous artists out there, so feel free to toggle open each of these color groups and play with the different layers inside that make up the particular color effect. So for example, in cool blue here, we have a vignette layer, a contrast control layer, and a color control layer and a saturation control layer. So as you can see, the rabbit hole can go pretty deep if you enjoy playing around with these specific layers. So I'll just toggle this group closed and let's turn off the layer visibility for this color effect. And let's go with one of my favorites, Orange Pico. Now this is a very dramatic effect, but I just love what it does with digital art. So again, you would probably want to use this on works where warmer tones would complement your artwork and the emotional response you're intending for your viewer. But I just love how this one works on a lot of my artwork. And of course, if you find it too strong, you can reduce the opacity down a bit or go right inside and play with the layer structure of this group and even change the warm tone to something that suits your image and taste. Okay, so let's close this one up and turn it off. And let's look at one more of my favorites, black and bright. This one is obviously a black and white conversion, but we really wanted there to be so deep a contrast, particularly in the lighter mid-tones and lighter tones of the image. So black and bright works particularly well on images where color is not playing the predominant role in evoking any kind of emotional response from your viewer. So I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. So you know what, let's turn this one off and look at one more. I could do this all day because I love this. Okay, uh, blueberry art. Here's another one of my favorites. Now, I created this one primarily for portrait artwork, and I wanted something that would cool down an image while still retaining some of the natural skin tone. 
So this one is nice to use when you're looking at some. You're looking for like a cool look, but in a subtle way. So you can go through the different options and toggle them on and off to see their effect on your artwork. And you're going to have a lot of fun with these. And that is our new Color Atmospheres action. So use these to intensify the emotional responses of your audience and just have fun experimenting with them as you go through the journey of creating and manipulating and playing and customizing your artwork. Be creative, have fun, enjoy, and happy photoshopping.